Over the past few days, LumiRank 2023 has been releasing in full, revealing 10 players a day in their top 100. Many people, including me, have released predictions for who was going to be ranked where. Were any of us correct? Well, strap in, dear viewers, because today we won't just be going over the top 10. No, we're going to go over all 150 players on LumiRank. Now, obviously, we're not going to go massively in-depth for all of these players. I'll actually be going pretty fast through every single one of these, but stopping to give some side notes or talk about which placements are seen as controversial by the community at large. Once we get to the top 10 themselves, I will be going in-depth, but if I did that for the entire top 150, this video would be around 2 hours long. Oh, also, now seems like as good a time as any to reveal to you that I was actually a writer for LumiRank this year. I wrote several of the blurbs for players that I'm about to go over and was an official part of LumiRank. It makes me super proud of just how hard I've been working and how far the channel has come that my work is being recognized by an organization like LumiRank. Speaking of channel milestones, we hit 7,000 subscribers recently, so thank you all very much for that. I'm going to try to get at least 10k before the end of the year, but I think we'll wipe that goal in just a few months. Let's keep the momentum going everyone. Just a reminder before we begin that if you want to support me monetarily, you can do so based on links to my Patreon or channel memberships, which are in the description below. With that out of the way, let's get started with the top 150 honorable mentions. The methodology here might be confusing to some people, as there's two sections for honorable mentions. So let me clarify a few things. LumiRank released ranks 101 to 150 in one big chunk all at once. What I'm about to go over is honorable mentions for specifically 101 to 150, not the top 100. Also, it's very important to note that honorable mentions are not meant to go to the runner-ups. Rather, honorable mentions on LumiRank go to players who 100% would have made the list if not for lacking attendance. This is important for our first controversy, Omega, who did not make top 150 this year. Omega was rank 151 and missed out on top 150 by quite literally a handful of points. But Omega isn't an honorable mention, which confused some people. Okay, now that the methodology is a little bit more clear, let's finally hop into our top 150 honorable mentions. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to read through all of these at this or at any point throughout this video. You can also just follow along with me as the links to all of these ranking articles will be at the top of the description below. And since this is 101 to 150 and not the top 100 itself, we're going to be extra, extra fast going through these. Not even going over all of them, but just going over the ones that I want to mention as notable. With that said, the most notable from our honorable mentions are Morocco Yo from Venezuela, E King from Puerto Rico, Peli from the UK, and Rivers from the US, among others. There's also Carmelo, the Steve main who beat Gluttony at Kowloon 9. And by the way, his tag is spelled Carmelo, like seen here, and not Karumero, like the VODs on VGBC incorrectly list. It is pretty funny though. Now let's move up into the top 150 itself. Our first batch of players notably includes Goblin and Leon from the US, as well as Andrik and Rox from Mexico. Our next batch includes Alice, who seems really low for someone who's top 8 several Japanese majors. This batch also controversially put Gachipi one spot above Armadillo as the better Lucario player. This batch also has Peebnut at number 116, and perhaps the most controversial placement in this entire section is WebJP being placed at rank number 113. And our last batch for this section contains European, Space, and Quick. Controversially, Icy Mist from the United States is listed two spots above Quick as the superior Samus. That wraps up places 101 to 150. I told you we'd move through that pretty fast. But before we get into the top 100 itself, we have the top 100 honorable mentions. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the second honorable mention segment. This time, however, these honorable mentions are given to players who would have 100% made the top 100, if not for lacking attendance requirements. This list is thankfully fairly short. First up is DD, most notable for his 7th place finish at Super Smash Con and his sick dance moves. Next up we have Proto Banham, who has been pretty inactive in 2023. I really hope we get Proto back in 2024, because I miss him like people used to miss MKLeo's Joker. Our next player is Mame from Mexico, most famous for his top 8 finish at Smash Factor X. And lastly we have Big Chungus from Sweden, famous for their 7th place finish at Terra this year. And now, finally, we're in our top 100. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. These are the top 100 players in the world. And just as a reminder, if you want to read through any of these, pause the video to do so, because we're going to go really dang fast. 
Places 100 through 91. Rank number 100, Mr. E. Rank number 99, Crepe Soleil. Rank number 98, Sasusoto. Rank number 97, Supasemi, who's from the Netherlands, not anywhere else. Rank number 96, Showers. Rank number 95, Huto. Rank number 94, Tamapi Daifuku. Rank number 93, Jazo. Rank number 92, Akakikusu. And rank number 91, Senra, places 90 through 81. Rank number 90, MVD. Rank number 89, Leon. The French Lucina, not the American Bowser. Rank number 88, Kia Rash. This placement was fairly controversial, to put it lightly. Rank number 87, Shiryuki, the other Japanese inkling. Rank number 86, Jake. Rank number 85, Now, one of the Japanese Marios. Rank number 84, Jackal, another slightly controversial placement because of how low it was. Rank number 83, Noi. Rank number 82, Wrath. And rank number 81, Andres FN. Places 80 through 71. Rank number 80, Base Mage. Notably, this is the first player who I wrote the blurb for. Go ahead and read it if you're interested. Again, links to all of these articles are at the top of the description. Rank number 79, Beast Mode Paul. Rank number 78, Anathema, who I also wrote the blurb for. Rank number 77, Taike. Rank number 76, Cosmos, who I wrote quite the banger blurb for. Rank number 75, Sigma. Rank number 74, Ike. A fairly controversial pick, as a lot of people have no idea who Ike is. But let me tell you, you should know who Ike is, because he's sick. Rank number 73, Luis. Or Louis Money, whichever you prefer, I guess. I also wrote the blurb for him, though, so that's cool. Rank number 72, Pisetimon. And rank number 71, Snow, the other Japanese Mario. Places 70 through 61. Rank number 70, Capitan Sito. Rank number 69, Motsunabe. Nice. Rank number 68, Ouch. Rank number 67, Chase. Rank number 66, Rizeyasu. Rank number 65, Takara. Rank number 64, Lugi. And no, the irony of putting a Luigi main at 64 is not lost on me. Rank number 63, I'm. Rank number 62, Ryuo. And rank number 61, Tilde, who I wrote the blurb for. Places 60 through 51. Rank number 60, Yam in Action. Rank number 59, Hikaru. This pick was controversial as Hikaru didn't attend a single tournament in the second half of 2023 and is effectively retired. But the first half of Hikaru's 2023 was still good enough to land him as number 59. Rank number 58, Alandis. Another controversial pick, many people argue that Alandis was way too high. Everyone except Mexico, that is, who all flocked to defend Alandis. Rank number 57, Level 1, who has overtaken Sigma as the best Toon Link in the world. Rank number 56, Quid. Rank number 55, Tarek. Rank number 54, Twitty Goody, who I made a documentary about you should really go and watch. Also, a banjo player is nearly top 50 in the world, which is pretty crazy. Rank number 53, Masha. Rank number 52, Atelier, who will probably be even higher next year given what happened at Cafeteria Cup. And rank number 51, MK Big Boss. Okay, whew, halfway done, let's go, let's go. Places 50 through 41. Rank number 50, Aaron. I once again wrote the blurb for Aaron, so don't forget to view the articles using the links in the description. Rank number 49, Rarukun. Rarukun is ranked far above Lugi as the best Luigi, and this isn't even counting his run to second at Kowloon 9. So uh, yeah, Rarukun's cracked. Rank number 48, Kome. I'm actually pretty surprised that Komei's up here, but it's a pleasant surprise seeing a Shulk in top 50. Rank number 47, Hedo. Rank number 46, Subaki. Rank number 45, Big D. Rank number 44, Shaddock, the biggest and fastest rising star in America. Rank number 43, Onin. Rank number 42, Dio, the Japanese snake, not the British vampire who can stop time. And rank number 41, Doramigi, the best solo Minmin main in the world and one of my favorite players right now. I'm hoping that he takes home a major victory in 2024. Places 40 through 31. Rank number 40, Jagaimo, the Japanese Palutena. Rank number 39, Raflo, the French Palutena. You heard that right, Raflo was ranked one spot above Jagaimo as the better Palutena and the best one in the world. This wasn't controversial, but rather celebrated. Still, it caused a lot of discussion and buzz. Rank number 38, Masa, ranked as the best Falco in the world. Rank number 37, Ron, making his first appearance on a global ranking since his iconic placement on the PGRU V2. 
rank number 36, Cola. I mean, to be fair, he only competed for the last few months of this year. Rank number 35, Kananabe. Rank number 34, Shiny Mark, who is the only Pikachu in this entire top 150. Rank number 33, Umeki. Being 33rd in the world while also being a major TO is pretty impressive. Rank number 32, Sky J. This one was a tad controversial as many people thought Sky J was too low. And rank number 31, Apollo Kage. Places 30 through 21. Rank number 30, Neo. Slightly controversially ranked above Shattuck as the better Corrin. Rank number 29, Lima. Rank number 28, Bloom Forever. Yup, that's right, the two best Bayonettas were ranked within one spot of each other, and between them, Bloom Forever was given the slight edge. I wouldn't necessarily call this controversial, but it did cause some discussion. Rank number 27, Gact. Rank number 26, Jogibu. Rank number 25, Kurama. I wrote the blurb for Kurama, the second to last one that I did for this year's edition of Lumirank. Can you guess whose was the last one I did? Rank number 24, Mars. This one was a tad controversial, as people felt that Mars was really high for such a low attendance. Rank number 23, Meister. Rank number 22, Zachary. And rank number 21, Siski. Places 20 through 11. Rank number 20, Mudes. Rank number 19, Hurt. Hurt has had the fastest and largest move up in the rankings, maybe ever. Rank number 18, Yara. Rank number 17, Ashimo. Rank number 16, Ken, who was a bit farther down than I predicted, but it do be like that sometimes. Rank number 15, Zamba. Zamba not being ranked within the top 10 was a bit controversial. Rank number 14, DeBuzz. That is a lovely picture of him. Rank number 13, Kameme, who some people think is ranked a little bit high after a slight lack of attendance in the second half of the year. Rank number 12, T. Same thing I said about Kameme applies to T as well. And rank number 11, MK Leo. That's right, for the first time ever since the PGRU V1 in Smash 4, MK Leo didn't make top 10 on a global ranking. This caused a lot of discussion, but honestly, there's not much I can say about it that hasn't been said already. Let's just hope that 2024 is the new year of MKLeo. And now, we're down to our top 10. So, funny story, at the time that I'm currently writing this, the top 10 hasn't even been revealed yet. I mean, by the time you're watching this, it has. Right now, as I speak, I'm waiting for them to reveal it so I can finish writing the script and push out this video immediately afterward. Funny how life works like that. For you, it'll be just a single instant, but for me, the time between me writing this sentence in the script and the very next sentence will be several hours. So, you know, see you then. Then is now. The top 10 has been fully revealed, and so let's go over it together. It's time for us to count down the top 10 best players in the entire world. We'll be going far more in depth with these 10 than we did with all the previous competitors. And so without further ado, Let's begin. Places 10 through 1. Rank number 10, Shuton. With great placements like 3rd at Battle of BC 5, 1st at Kowloon 5, and 3rd at Smash Factor X, Shuton is dominantly one of the greatest competitors in Japan and one of their most consistent. He's also one of the only people alive who can make Aegis work at the highest level along with his co-main Olimar two characters that have fallen off a cliff in terms of meta relevance, but Shuton still manages to make it work at every turn. And that, in and of itself, is incredibly impressive. Rank number 9, Riddles. With a big win at Collision 2023 and impressive placements at Japanese majors like Mayasuma and Delta 4, Riddles admittedly hasn't had the best last few months, but when looking at this gear as a whole, Riddles has undoubtedly been a top 10 global competitor. And we're not gonna sugarcoat that. Rank number 8, Yoshidora. With some lacking placements near the tail end of the year, it's easy to forget just how talented Yoshidora is. But with 3rd at Kagadibi 11 and Umebura SP9, as well as a win at Sumabato SP39, Yoshidora continues to make his case as the third pillar of Japan alongside Mia and Nicola. And with a list of wins to rival some of the four horsemen, Yoshidora has single-handedly thrust Yoshi into the forefront of Ultimate's meta. Rank number 7, Tweak. One of Smash Ultimate's fan favorite competitors, Tweak boasts big placements like second at Terra and Smash Summit 6, but also a win at LMBM 2023, the first major of the year. While Tweak may not be as high as previous years, there's no doubt that Tweak will always be a dominant force in the Smash community and will always remain one of the favorites among spectators. Tweak talked, and we had no choice but to listen. Rank number 6, 
Light. With wins at Momocon 2023, Level Up Expo 2023, and the final shine ever, Light has some of the best peaks in all of Smash Ultimate, not to mention his phenomenal third place finish at Genesis 9. Light is the only player in the world who can claim to be a bracket demon for two of the four horsemen, Spargo and Sonics, and Light is one of Smash Ultimate's other fan favorites, with the sleeves coming up and the dances coming out. Light will remain a consistent threat for many years to come. Also, I wrote the blurb for Light, my final blurb for this year's Lumi Rank. Rank number 5, Gluttony. Melee had the five gods and had Leffen the god slayer. Ultimate now has the four horsemen and Gluttony is the horseman slayer. That doesn't quite roll off of the tongue, but you get what I'm saying. One of the most consistent threats in the meta today and the pride of all of Europe, Gluttony is one of the greatest competitors of all time and has given us such hype moments like his comeback versus Ken at Delfino Maza or the ending of Terra, you know, as a whole. Gluttony's main issue is that when it comes to the Four Horsemen, he's an outsider looking in, not quite able to get those wins to consider himself a part of their ranks. Gluttony, though, has an almost cult-like following, and it's impossible to not see why. Rank number 4, Mia. Mia has cemented himself as the best Game & Watch in the world after coming onto the scene in NA just last year. His main issue has been in grand finals of Super Majors versus the other three horsemen, but against anyone else, Mia just doesn't lose, being one of the most consistent competitors in Smash Ultimate today. He's less prone to upsets than some of the three other players ranked above him. He games, and we watch with entrancement, as Mia demolishes all of our fan favorites with the silly Beep Boot Man. Rank number three, Sonics. He knows the vibes more so than any other player alive, and no matter what you may think of Sonic, Sonics has the greatest work ethic in all of Smash Ultimate's upper echelon. With wins at the Coinbox IRL and the most stacked Ultimate Tournament ever, Port Priority 8, Sonics labs like no other competitor in the scene, and no matter what, Sonics will adapt, he will bounce back, and he will conquer with time. 2024 may indeed be Sonics' year, and only time, and time outs, will tell. Rank number two, Spargo. The new GOAT of North America, some of the best players in the world are indeed from Mexico. Winning tournaments like Watch the Throne, Kagadi B10, and Battle of BC5, Spargo is probably the fan favorite of the entire community. A few bad losses and a few bad valley placements really hurt his case for first, but his head-to-head -head against the other three horsemen cannot be underestimated in its importance or impressiveness. Spargo continually strives to be number one in the world, and in 2024, I believe he will be able to accomplish the goal he's worked so hard to achieve. And at last, the best player in the entire world, rank number one, a cola. Who else could it have been, to be honest? The most dominant player in the meta, with the most dominant character in the game, in the most dominant region in the entire scene. Akola's dominance should be studied in a laboratory, as should his consistency. There is no other player in the game like Akola right now, and he truly has worked hard for his number one spot. Steve or not, you cannot deny the skill and talent that this kid exudes everywhere he goes. To do so is plainly ignorant. Across international borders and across character barriers, Akola has dominated and likely will dominate some more headed into 2024. And that was the entirety of the LumiRank Top 150. It's been a long and stressful year for many people, and our favorite players were no exception. But this year saw some of the greatest storylines and tournaments of all time. From the rise of new stars, the fall of old legends, and the emergence of the Four Horsemen era of Smash Ultimate. I can't wait to see what 2024 will bring for the world of Smash. That's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons Seth Laster, Frosco 33 Logan S, Persipom, Wawa, Mr. Sinister, and my two two patrons Ildis and Diamond Blaze. Additionally, shout out my YouTube members Storm Trooper, Loco Soko, Diarrhea, DJR Jr., Defective, Fan of, Boston R, Ildis, and my two two members Mike G and Wu Tang Forever. Lastly, extra special shout out goes to my tier 3 patron Ocean Man, who says, Mr. Mias is sorry for playing Min Min. If you want to support me using any of these methods, links are in the description below. Don't miss tomorrow's upload, but until then, I've been Mr. Mice, and thank you all so very much for watching. Happy 2024!